What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And as you see, we here with the DPS Sukuna Drill Rap Malevolent. Malevolent? Hopefully, I said that right. And it's featured Omar came up, Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, first and foremost, knowing how you know who gonna wanna interrupt. <laughs> Now, look, the first time when DPS did his Sukuna rap and such from like two years ago, hey, in a way, that shit shook up the nerdcore scene. We know many songs has over the years, but I'm saying that's one of those songs that did shook it up too, where it can get really eerie, really dark, sinister type mode so hey cuz you got the ones that can get you lit but you don't got ones that had like some eeriness like dark sinister types so hey I'm just saying shout out to DPS for in a way you can say creating that zone more not to say that others didn't do it too but with DPS you know how he got that like big maturity that big nigga energy and such so yeah but hey with this one from the previews that he's put on his social media has like a little bounce to it like some and I hear that he hired like freaking a, like a dance group dance group or so for this so hey I'm interested out you see that so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video Better put this up to full volume. You know, you know, I already did. Edited by Reese, of course. Malevolent featuring Omar came up. King of the worst, spit in your face. It's why I'm the worst. But look in the verbs, so king of the curses. King of the worms, you king on the surface. King of the, mm. king of the, king of the. Whenever you Ooh. urge it, that's what you earn. The king of the hearse, the king of the clouds, the king of the circus. King of the, king of the, king of the. I should be worship. Whoa, show me your mercy. Go nine mil to a turret. Oh, spine chill. Nine mil to a turret. Oh, that gut. Yo, already DPS knows how to make those beats that just be be bouncing. And shout out to Omar came up too, cause throughout this entire year. Those two, these two, have been a phenomenal combination. I'm reacting. You're reacting, Shani? Yes, now leave me alone. Alright. You see why I locked the door? But now, like I've said, these two have been a phenomenal combination. Throughout this entire face is why I'm the worst. But living the verbs, so king of the curses, king of the worms, you king on the surface, king of the king of the king of the whenever you're urging, this is what you earn the king of the houses, king of the clouds, the king of the circus, king of the king of the king of the I should be worship. Whoa, show me your verse and go nine mil to a turret. Oh, spine chill when the turret roll. Malevolent shrine, if you thinking that you can hurt the goat, hurt that you taking the crown and something I've heard before. Great danger, pull the chain and go pay this. Money talk, so I waste paper. Talk, so I waste paper. So I waste Ray paper. Danger, pull the chain and your pacemaker. Money talk, so I waste paper. I lay the waste if you yeah. waste pages. Blade drop, but I stay stable. You got hung, but I slay safe. This is the hell play spaces. We trade blows and I trade places. That grave way to like hey, hey, tap dance and go great, great. So sad, I can't hold back. They get toe tag when I play, play. Should have stayed out the way. Wait, oh, yeah. like this nigga place. really did. This nigga really did hire the step. If I'm not mistaken, didn't he say it was a step dance team? Hold on. Let me see in the credits real quick. Because I remember him. He did say he hired. I forgot what the name of the team was. But hold on. Let me see. Yeah, the Ski Mask Dance Gang. Shout out to them. Like your brain on the table, maybe next time you do what I say. And 
actually put some bars in there too. Right in dice, I can't fuck with no vice, squeaking. You hit the ultimate price in peace. They strike but they fail at all the cooler. Much time my hell a hallelujah. No not of my hell a call the boot. Wrong way on my hell a call the Lucifer judge, jury executioner, blood, dripping from your juke, you look thug. Bitch, I've been a hoot looking. All of you scared, you prepare for the future, but I'm here to take it. The future is down. All of you talking, you grinding your teeth, so it's fair that you losers got room for the crown. Every vote is a fork and it's leading to me, bitch. I'm taking a spoon at your mouth and I'm hearing you talking when everything ain't in the key. If you told if I'm toting you out. I don't see this bitch on TikTok not dancing. Look, I be telling you. Look, and I told y'all, it's basically like this. Let me tell you just a little story because I know this is probably going to be a long one, but let me just tell you a little thing. So, I'm working at Chick fil A now, right? And we had this little orientation where we introduce people to ourselves and such, like get to one, know us and such. And I tell you, and I, when it came up to me, I told them straight up that. I'm Jamaican, my name is Zidane and such, but then when I tell them like a little thing they didn't know about me, where I listen to all music, but the main music I listen to the most is anime rap. You damn right, I don't care whether they want to, and I told them the explanation, and trust me, in a way, they kind of seem surprised, because I told them I listen to the typical ones like rap, hip, like hip hop, well, rap, like hip hop, R and B, so and such, right? Like my typical such. But I told them when I mostly listen to anime rap, I can tell they like get shocked when I told them like it's anime is like music, but inspired by anime and such. They kind of was surprised and such. But hey, if they could see some of my reactions and they hear songs like this, they can see why I like to listen to this mostly more than my other ones. Cause trust me. It's something about this where it just gives me so freaking hype and such. No matter what the song is. And no matter which style they do it in. Because nigga, let's be honest. Music today, you don't get excitement like this no more. I'm sorry. not, And I'm not trying to say all of them. But it's just certain music that just has like that typical gen generic type style. And y'all can tell me too. And y'all know that too. And there's really little ones you hear that has something different. But in nerdcore, anime rap, whatever, you always go hear something different every single time. And I love that. It's a fork and it's leading to me, bitch. I'm taking a spoon at your mouth and I'm hearing you talking, but everything ain't in the key. If you're told if I'm pulling you out. You ain't shit. Hey, hey, tap dancing, no crap, crap. So sad, I can't hold back. They get toe tag when I play, play. Should've stayed out the way, way. Now your place it ain't safe, safe. Now your brain on the pavement. Maybe next time you do what I say. And also, I gotta put shout out to Reese too, cause with these edits and such, it's crazy. people are clowning on most men doing the hip dance from Lil Uzi but I'm just saying nigga what's wrong with that if it's just because you dancing like this and such it doesn't make you stupid or anything I mean it's just vibing out like come on now now if you're a man twerking and such unless you are gay that's hey do your thing but if you not gay and you dance twerking and such you are a little bit <laughs> that's all I'm saying look there's no hate towards no gay people or anything, nothing like that at all. No hate. But I'm just saying, just because you're doing this little dance, the Uzi dance, the actual rock, or the too rare, or it's from too rare or so whatever. Point is, I don't care. Dancing is dancing as long as you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Like this. Hit the ultimate price. 
and pieces. Yes. Oh, switch up. Gotta switch up now, what up? You wasn't, you wasn't even close but from I know damn well this nigga didn't do a first person like shooter remix like vibe and such. If y'all know first person shooter Drake and J. Cole song where the first part of it was like lit and such, but then the second part goes into like that dog mode and such. Where that song if you listen to the album, you should have known we were expecting more of that for the dogs in search mode rather than a whole bunch of singing but this right here this is definitely within that run of it like hold up my level is shining in this bitch you wasn't even close, but from a distance, some confused or she forgot. Told you that you wasn't, mm. so you tested what I predisposed. Already caught a body in my mind, I call it predisposed. I'm about to from what I call it, it's predisposed. Saying that you, saying that I already disposed the body before I even did something to it. Tested what I predisposed. Already caught a body in my mind, I call it predisposed. I'm about to, I'm about to. I'm about to, I'm about to get the axe, keep running in the fire, never met a match, put you in the body bag. Keep running in the fire, I never met a match, a match, come on now DPS, look, I, and people, look, all I'm saying is, when you can combine, like, your rapping skills, like the bars, the metaphors, the similes, and all that, and have some, like, charisma with it, like some sauce, hey, I'm just saying that makes it a whole lot more better and it's in and I don't care what what any genre it is to be honest with you any genre my distance some confused or she forgot told you that you wasn't so you tested what I predisposed already caught a body in my mind I call it predisposed predisposed I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to get the axe keep running in the fire never met a match put you in the body bag ain't the type of life that gets a pension Telling ghost stories, I'm the slender man. Everybody tough. Telling ghost stories, I'm the slender man. One of those goat, one of those myth stories. But life gets a pension plan. They telling ghost stories, I'm the slender man. Everybody tough. Well, they tough until comparison hit. You pop off semi automatic like I carry a switch. Talking problematic, arrogance, I'm wearing this shit. Feel like Drizzy Drake, the demons out here repping this sick, sick, sick. Slap you and embarrass your bitch. Cause you be whiffing all your punches and you swearing it hits. I put a hole inside your abdomen, cesarean shit. And when I'm done with you, I'll bury the clip. Cut the metronome. All these people trying to tell me what to do. Who the fuck are you? Yo, who the fuck me. are you? Fuck out of here. Damn. Nah. DPS talked his shit at the end. What you mean? This is, and the thing is, what I've always saying about how when people brag on songs, there's a difference between whenever you own up to your craft, you can talk shit, but when nine times out of ten your songs aren't all that, you ain't, you ain't got the room to talk shit. With DPS, with the way how his music is and his grind, oh, he got all the rights to talk shit, no matter who it is. Straight up with you. But nah. Definitely, this is one of my favorite ones. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because in a way, I still love the original one because it got that dark energy. But this one, not only it still, in a way, captures it, but made a dance with it and shit. And the fact that he hired like a dance group to actually dance to this shit. Oh, I'm... Yeah. I'm sorry. I've always said it every single time. That no matter what it's called, a remix, a reimagine, a sequel, whatever, part two or whatever, nine times out of ten, the remix are sometimes gonna be more better than the original. And hey, I still hold the original for this one to my heart, but this remix is way more better than that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if it was a drill version, yeah. This one was way more better. I'm sorry. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below and if you made it to the end, comment down below. Malevolent.
comment down below Malevolent. And hopefully I said the name right. Malevolent. Either way, comment down below Malevolent and that makes me know you made it to the end. But, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. And hey, we're on the road to 2K so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Lego.